Some people say that good talkers make good salesmen. I say bullshit. You know what the truth is? The truth is most bad salespeople talk too much. In fact, they talk so much that it becomes very irritating because when salespeople talk too much, they're too busy talking and spend too little time listening. And because they don't listen to me as a customer, they don't know me. They don't understand me and they are oblivious to my needs. So if you'd like to become a great salesperson, here's the rule. You talk less, you listen more. That's right. You talk less, and you listen more. So here's the rule of thumb. You talk only 25% of the time, and you let your customer talk 75% of the time. You know, some salespeople ask me, what if I don't talk and the customer doesn't talk? What happens? Well, there's a way around that. There's a way around awkward silences. And the answer is you ask questions. You ask questions. And you know what? If you ask questions, people have no choice but to reply you. When you ask questions, it is only polite that people answer you. So the question becomes, what sort of questions should you ask? Well, if you're new to the person, the best thing to do is to do small talk. Okay, let's rewind. Blah, 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 blah. The best thing to do is small talk if the person enjoys small talk. I know some customers or prospects who, when I go to their office for two hours, they talk about their family there, you know, when they are all the small talk, everything except the reason why we came. There are, however, some customers that look at me and say, let's get straight to the point. So make sure you gauge that. But let's say they love small talk. They can ask questions like, you know, where does he or she live? Uh, you know, ask questions about their family, about their kids. Ask questions about work. Ask questions about adventure travel. You know, what they have done recently, where they have gone, you know, where they have flown to. Ask questions about their health, about sports. You know, what do you, you know, do you work out? You know, what sports do you play? And when you find out, maybe you can join them. Talk about ideas. Ask questions about ideas, you know, about you know, what you read in the newspaper today. That's always useful. Now, and the goal for you asking all these questions is to get to know your prospect better. What other questions can you ask? You can ask questions like, um, well, business questions. Business questions such as, you know, what sort of requirements and, or needs do you need? For a product like this, what sort of requirements do you need for your software services this year? You know, what sort of current challenge? What sort of challenges do you have right now? What are you facing with your staff, with your software, with your office, whatever? Ask them about their challenges because if they have a problem, you can go catching because that is an opportunity for you to serve them and give them a lot of value. So ask him questions about challenges. Um, ask him questions l like, um, why would you, why are you looking for a product or service like ours? The beautiful question about asking a question like that, why would you need our product or service, is that when he answers, he's selling himself on buying your product. You don't have to sell it to him, he's selling himself. Oh, I need this because we're losing time and money on that. So. He's doing you a favor. When you ask questions, when you talk less, you understand your customer a lot more. And when you understand your customer a lot more, you can offer better solutions. And when you offer better solutions, you stand a much higher chance of winning their business.